Okay, so there's things that are extremely irritating. A pet peeve. Most of the t most of the things that are not that much of an issue to others, there may raise your blood pressure in an instinct. A pet peeve is what is when I hate in a doctor's office forever. It's so <laughs> infuriating. It happens every single time that I go there without fail. I think <laughs> the doctor's obligation is to make clients as content, happy as possible. Which includes having them getting in and out of the office as quickly as possible. Receptionists, frankly, are the ones who make the arrangements in the office. What I don't get is why they give you take time when you're supposed to come and when it's not even close to the time that you all called in to see, she said, doctor. What's the point of giving time when it's not even right? From as far back as I can remember, I do not recall a single time where I came into your office and I was immediately seen, called in to see the doctor. The substance obviously has to have some kind of clue, some kind of idea about how long one line would take. So they would schedule it accordingly. When they cynic, all they want to do is stay home and relax. I will not speak for others. However, my idea of having fun is not waiting in an office waiting room. So I'm going to buy sick people who are even more bothered than I could possibly be. be. That would be the last thing I would be doing if I was sick. When I came out of a dark office, I am more annoyed and feel worse than I did before I came. We, patients need to be worst out, not worse worst then, not worst out. There's something really off about that system of theirs. Sitting in the waiting room completely wastes time. Well, it's not like we don't have anything else to do with our day. We can possibly even think of anything else we would rather be doing than sitting in a crowded waiting room for 10 minutes at a time, reading boring magazines, outdated newspapers. And there's no Wi-Fi for the kids because we couldn't find any babysitters. So, we have to bring them with us. Let them suffer the punishments. For example, one time I had a 12 o'clock appointment at the doctor's, which was also scheduled when I had school. <laughs> it was that mistake. Uh, I didn't get it out. I didn't get the seat until, until like around one thirty. So I basically had to like cancel my plans for that. So to other people, it didn't really not seem a big deal, but that's just like really in my snow me. No one should have to wait five to fifteen minutes after their scheduled appointments. To see the dog is crazy. Whenever I think about a subject, I can say that my intolerance level rises enough in tension. The solution would be as simple as a scenario thing activity, hence, Leaving time sandwiched between 
just in case that one patient runs timelessly. Just this one modification would make a transfer animation. And it does not have to take a genius to collect that. I hope one day we'll be able to go into a doctor's office and be seen by a doctor right away and not wait an eternity. In this speech I had mentioned my pet peeves, why it annoys me, and this, and how it could be changed to so everybody can be seen on a timely matter. Okay, it's gonna go in on one